So you're thinking of moving to Billings, Montana? Today we are going to explore downtown Billings. Now they say the heart of any city is its downtown area and Billings has a lot of heart. So come along for the ride. Join me for a driving tour through downtown Billings. We'll talk about some history, some notable places, and we'll even tour through some downtown area neighborhoods. And you'll want to stick around till the end where I will share with you a historic building near downtown Billings with a secret history that not many people know about. So buckle up and let's get started. your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about Billings Montana and the surrounding community be sure to subscribe below tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Billings Montana my name is Nancy Brooke and the team and I get calls emails and texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Billings Montana and you know what we absolutely love it so whether you're looking to make your move in nine days or 90 days shoot us a text give us a call send us an email using the information below we're happy to help you make your smooth move to Billings Montana hey there so we are going to start our tour by jumping on a Google map I promise to keep this quick because I don't want this to be boring but I will give you a quick overview of downtown Billings and the streets and areas where we will visit so let's start on North 27th Street we will begin our tour headed up North 27th Street which is the main north-south route and if you continued on that route we would head up to the airport the other street we will go on is Broadway. So we will roughly hit these couple of blocks on Broadway Avenue. And we will also go down historic Montana Avenue, which is one of the oldest streets in Billings. Now to give you an overview of the area of Billings, I will draw the perimeter. So roughly with Billings, we're talking about this area from 6th Avenue North on the far north side down Division Street on the west side. Montana Avenue is the southernmost border and around 20th Street would be the easternmost border. That is downtown right in here. The neighborhoods we will talk about near downtown Billings include this section just west of downtown where there are a lot of historic houses. We will also cover this area northeast of downtown which is called North Park and finally we will cover the north elevation section which is right near the hospital area and as you can see north elevation is labeled right there. So let's get off the map and let's jump in the car and get started. Like I said, today we are taking a driving tour through downtown Billings. So here I am in the car and we are going to get started driving through the downtown area. We'll start our tour on North 27th Street in downtown Billings. To my right, you'll notice the Double Tree, which is one of the largest buildings in Billings. And we'll talk about that in just a little bit. To my left, you can't see the sign, but it is Walker's Restaurant. Jake's Restaurant is also on the left-hand side of the street. As we continue on, a great burger restaurant, the Burger Dive, is also on the left. And heading forward, you notice on my left side once again, we do have city buildings. There's City Hall there. Moving forward, there's also the City Police Station. And to the right is the Yellowstone County Courthouse. One block west of North 27th Street is North Broadway, which is really the main part of downtown Billings. Right in this area, we do have some bars, some offices. Also, you'll notice a local grocer right downtown. And as we continue on, we will see some restaurants to the left. There's Bin 119, 
the Montana Brewing Company. There's a great restaurant called Stat up ahead. And there's also additional shops. There's a little bar, casino. To my left is the Northern Hotel. And to the right is a bank called Western Security Bank, which is based in Montana. Well, I'm here at the corner of North 27th and Montana Avenue. And behind me is the Doubletree Building. Now, it was built in 1980. And at the time, it was the largest building in Billings. Now, Billings isn't known for its skyscraper, but in 1985, the first interstate building was erected and that became the tallest building. One other interesting fact about the Doubletree building, which originally was called the Sheraton Hotel, but when it was built in 1980, it was declared the tallest load-bearing brick building in the world by the Brick Institute of America. And the facade of the building has 2.3 million bricks. Isn't that amazing? Next up, we'll take a drive down historic Montana Avenue. Now, Montana Avenue is one of the oldest streets in Billings. It is home to a number of different restaurants, bars. We have some craft breweries. There are cute little galleries. There's some offices and other shops. The street was originally established by the railroad when it came to town in 1909, and it was a busy place of commerce. We did go through periods where Montana Avenue was basically abandoned and in disrepair, but in the mid 90s, all of that started changing. And the last 20 years, we've seen a revitalization of Montana Avenue. We're gonna take a stop to our right and check out the first building that came to Montana Avenue, the Billings Depot. I'm here on historic Montana Avenue in front of the Billings Train Depot. Now, the train depot does not have trains coming through these days, but it was built originally for three different railways to bring passengers. A lot of people were wanting to come to Montana and make their claim on land in our area. The trains for passengers ran through 1979. In fact, I remember when I was young, taking an Amtrak and catching it right at the depot. But then through the years, the train station became in disrepair Nobody used it, and it became, you know, in need of a lot of attention. Then in the 1990s, something happened. The movie Far and Away was filmed here. Director Ron Howard decided to use the depot for some of his scenes. Now, you probably have heard of Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise. I bet you have. Anyway, they were in the depot. That's probably the closest to those two I will ever get. But what happened after that is the people of Billings formed a group that decided to rehabilitate the depot. And today it is used for, there's a bar here, and then it's also used for events. A lot of people rent it for weddings, for other kinds of events as well. So it is a mainstay in our community and it's a really beautiful place. Now the part you've been waiting for, we are touring through some downtown area neighborhoods and we are starting just west of downtown on Clark Avenue. Now, what you will find on this street and the adjoining streets are beautiful homes that were built at the turn of the century. These historic houses have a lot of character. You'll see beautiful front porches, a two stories, mansions, more modest houses, bungalows, cottages. No two houses are the same. This is a great area ranging from 350 to over a million. Now, before we leave this area just west of downtown Billings, I wanted to share with you a beautiful building called the Moss Mansion. Now, the Moss Mansion is a museum. It also hosts events and activities. I would highly encourage you to check it out when you are in Billings. Our next neighborhood is the North Elevation located north of downtown Billings. In this neighborhood, we are really close to the hospitals, Billings Clinic, and St. Vincent, so it is very popular among medical professionals to live in this area. You will find houses that have a lot of charm, and prices range from about $400,000 all the way up to around $7,750. $7 Next, we will explore the North Park area, which is just a little bit north and east of downtown Billings. In this neighborhood, you will find houses that are more affordable. 
the houses are anywhere from completely renovated to those that need some TLC. And prices range from under 200,000 to around 400,000. The great thing about this neighborhood is you are close to downtown and all the amenities and still have an affordable place to live. Well, thanks for sticking around till the end. And as promised, behind me is the building with the secret history that not many know about in Billings, Montana. The l, &L building had the distinction of being one of the oldest brothels in Billings at the time. Now, this was back at the late 1800s, early 1900s. And at the time, brothels were located both on Minnesota Avenue, where I'm standing right now, and north of the tracks on Montana Avenue. However, in 1909, the Billings Depot was built, and that meant passengers were coming from all over the country to Billings, Montana, a lot of them to find their piece of land here. The citizens of Billings did not like the idea of passengers on the train getting out and seeing brothels. So what they did is signed a petition and demanded that the brothels be isolated in a district that was on the south side. And the L&L &L building was the westernmost part and the northernmost part of the brothel district or the red light district. So that's a little bit of history that you probably didn't know about Billings, Montana. Well, we hope you enjoyed that tour through downtown Billings. And remember, whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call. All of the information is in the description below. And until next time, we hope to see you around town.